Hey friends, okay, so today's video I'm gonna talk about St. Patrick. I absolutely love St. Patrick. He's amazing. If you're new here, please subscribe down below, be a part of this community, and let's get into this. So I'm gonna talk about St. Patrick and my love for him. I'm also gonna talk about Our Lady of Knock because she is Our Lady of Ireland, and she's amazing. I love her story, so I'm gonna talk about that after. But first, let's talk about St. Patrick. I became really into St. Patrick. Back, I used to be a missionary back in Hawaii for two years. I worked with the Catholic ministry out there and I realized, okay, Hawaii is an island and St. Patrick converted all of Ireland. And so I wanted to like get to know him more. Like I had this connection with St. Patrick and I wanted to know about him and his story is so amazing. So pretty much he was born and raised in Britain and from a nice, pretty wealthy family. And he, at the age of 16, the Irish Raiders caught him and brought him to Ireland and he was sold off as a slave and that's where a big part of his conversion was from was from being a slave like he you know some people would turn to bitterness and anger but he actually said that that is when he grew closer to God was in those times of being a slave can you imagine going from a wealthy nice family to being a slave and so time went on and he had this dream that told him to leave, to leave and that there would be a boat waiting for him. And so he woke up and he fled to, to the water and this boat brought him back to his family. And so while he was there, he had this, um, he felt like God was telling him to go back to Ireland. And so he, became a priest and it was interesting because what i read was that he really really wanted to go that moment like he had this zeal this longing to go back to ireland and to convert people to love them and to show them the way which who after being a slave would want to go back to where you were a slave it's interesting how god works isn't it so he had to go through the process of being a priest and then he became a bishop, actually, a bishop of Ireland. And he was actually very insecure because he did not have a lot of formal learning. He was a slave for, you know, most of his teenage life. And so he was insecure about Latin and all of these different things. But he knew he was called to go back to Ireland. And so he said, like, that the moment he knew he was supposed to go back to Ireland, it was like very painful because his whole self longed to go back to Ireland. So he became a priest and then he became a bishop and then he went back to Ireland and converted Ireland, like most of Ireland converted and his story is so amazing. And you know what I love about this story is that if one person can convert almost all of the land like that, then think about us, like God can use us too. Like his story gives me so much hope because he wasn't super smart. He wasn't, you know, like anything like grand in the way the world would see as grand, but God used him and converted so many people. And because of that, so many more people are in heaven glorifying God because of his yes. So when we say yes to God, amazing things can happen. So I just absolutely love St. Patrick. He is amazing. He is such an example to me. He's one of my like top five saints and he, he has ever since I worked out in Hawaii the, years and years ago. Um, so another awesome like kind of connection to that, Our Lady of Knock. So Our Lady of Knock, I have been fascinated about Our Lady of Knock because I love Marian apparitions and I just, there's something about Our Lady of Knock. I've always wanted to go visit that shrine in Ireland. Maybe someday I will go. The whole thing that happened, it's very interesting because it's not like any other apparition that has happened throughout the world. So Mary and Saint Joseph and Saint John actually appeared and there was also like a altar with a lamb on it. And they appeared to this very small village in Ireland and she they didn't say anything. They didn't say any words. She was all dressed in white. 
um, or they said almost silver. And it, the other amazing thing about Our Lady of Knock is that everybody could see her. Usually like Fatima and these other Marian apparitions, it's just like the chosen people like that Mary appears to. But this one, anybody who came by could see her. And so I think that is so phenomenal. So a lot of people are saying, and it was on the side of this church and stuff. So anyway, it's, it's pretty amazing. I love that. And so a lot of people have been like wondering like, what does Our Lady of Knock mean? Like there's been a lot of like, you know, different thought processes of, um, well, St. John is, you know, one of the people next to her. So John wrote the book of Revelation. And so that's like one theory is like that Revelation is right around the corner. Um, and St. Joseph, like St. Joseph, we just had the year of St. Joseph. And, you know, so there's, there's a bunch of different theories of like what's going on because she didn't speak at all. I just love Marian apparitions. They're so amazing. I know not all of them are approved by the church. So you do have to be careful about what what Marian apparitions you want to believe. And it, if it doesn't really bring you closer to God, then that's okay. You don't have to like believe them or get into them or anything like that. They're there to help you and to, you know, I mean, Mary's message when she does speak. So her messages are pretty much all the same turn away from sin, stop sinning, pray the rosary, go to mass, go to confession, repent, go back to church, make God happy. He created you, build your life around God and focus on him, not of this world. So anyway, I just find it fascinating. Our Lady of Knock, pray for us, right? Like so amazing, so fascinating. So um, let me know if you've ever heard of Our Lady of Knock because I don't think she's like very well known unless you're from Ireland. I've heard about her um, way back. I had a priest who was from Ireland. So he told us the story and I just found it fascinating. So. Anyway, I hope that you all have an amazing day and I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day, right? Go celebrate, enjoy these amazing saints that went before us, brought us the faith. I love that I'm part Irish and that he's one of my saints. Like he is legit an Irish saint. And so like he helped my people to become Catholic and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. So anyway, I hope you all have a great St. Patrick's feast day and I will talk to you later. God bless. Bye.